Now, some of the things that were considered, uh, the, the tower is founded in a PAL foundation system that is 1,500 millimeter diameter reinforced concrete uh, uh, PAL friction PAL. Um, that is, PAL spacing is about 3.7 to 4.5 meter. And um, the ball length is about 45 uh, meter, and it uses high performance concrete with very low water cement ratio of 0.3, and that is required for durability requirement. And the raft foundation is about uh, 3.7 uh, meter thick, and um, it's C50 concrete. And obviously, one of the th again, it uses very high durability requirement with a very low water cement ratio. Obviously, you can you can imagine building uh, such a mat on on a very big steel pile uh, and concrete pile and the restraining effect that you get has to be a lot of planning have to be done. Essentially um, a lot of uh, work has been done related to um, the what happened with the mat relative to the pile and what is the maximum temperature rise, maximum temperature differential, impact of round foundation on the cooling of the pile on the, um, as it cools down on the pile and the impact of the restraining effect uh, curing methods and construction sequence. So essentially, um, we bid on the project, but we didn't get it. But essentially, we did a lot of work related to heat of hydration um, analysis. And um, after we got the project and the theories that, that we used, uh, pretty much uh, predicted exactly what happened um, in the raft. Essentially, if we take the raft and model it in three-dimensional frame, including all the power foundations and so on and so forth, this is the kind of heat of hydration curves we got and essentially when we predicted, this is what we got, which is exactly uh, similar to what we had. And also we looked at the restraining effect um, of the pile on the foundation.